Okay, this is an Agilent 8453 UV risk spectrophotometer. Um, this is the software that runs the Agilent 8453. Um, the software is the latest one, works on Windows 10 computer. And here you see the way this computer is connected to um, this unit is via a LAN cable. So that's the only connection between this and this, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a power cord here. And that's about it so when you want to start the equipment power on the equipment over here this light will turn on green and this will turn on green it'll take about 30 minutes 30 seconds for a startup to happen and then the lights will go green okay. after it goes green just click on the shortcut icon over here and the software will start loading It'll ask for operator password and all that. You can skip it, or you want to create, you can create that. So as soon as the software is loaded, you will see a screen like this. And what you do, the first thing is, go to the lamps from the instrument menu, go to the lamps, and check if the lamps are on uh, so they are set up in a way that the lamp comes on by themselves and that's okay and you check the spectrophotometer status it is saying ready and green which, it's, which means it's all good to go mm -hmm. so the first option we have the simple option here that says um, fixed wavelength and it's in a mode called standard mode over here there are a couple of modes here, standard and advanced method, and the last one is verification and diagnostics. So as a user, you would be either working on these two modes for um, annual calibration and verification, you will be in verification and diagnostics. So by standard, go to fixed wavelength, set up. You want to pick some wavelengths, just say 230, 340, oh. 550 okay 566 and say okay here and all you do is put a blank sample over here um, in this case I'm assuming the air as a blank so I'll leave it as blank and I'll click on blank over here so the unit will read air as blank right now Once it's done, this will become highlighted, and now you can um, um, press a sample over here. This is a standard sample, so I'm going to place it over here, lock it, and I'm go just going to say sample over here. So you have the readings on three wavelengths, 230, 340, and 566. This is your reading. So if you want to take one more reading, just click on sample once again, and it will read the second time. There you go. It's read the second time. So that's how it is. Okay. Really simple. Good to go then. Yeah. Thank you.